We covered trig functions on a calculator in video TR-16. Now for inverse trig functions. I'll cover the same five calculators and we'll compute the same two angles using each. Arctan of 2, getting back the angle in radians, and arc sine of 0.777, getting back the angle in degrees. On TI calculators, we go into radian mode with the mode button. Above the sine, cosine, and tangent buttons are blue versions with a negative 1 subscript. These are the inverse functions. So press the blue second button and the tangent button. We press 2 as our argument, close the parenthesis, and press enter to see the answer of 1.107 radians. Now let's go to degree mode and find the arc sine of 0 0.777 in degrees. Mode down, down, degree, blue second, sine, gives us the inverse sine function, enter 0.777, and we get our answer, about 51 degrees. On a Casio calculator, we set radian mode with yellow shift, setup, scroll down to angle, and press F2 for radians. The sine, cosine, and tangent buttons all have yellow labels denoting the corresponding inverse function. So yellow shift, tan, two, execute. The angle whose tangent is two is 1.107 radians. Going to degree mode, yellow shift, setup, scroll down to angle, and press F1 for degrees. Yellow shift, sine, 0.777, execute, 51 degrees as before. For the NumWorks calculator, set the angle mode by scrolling to settings. OK, angle measure is the first option. OK, radians, OK. Scroll back to calculations. OK. The sine, cosine, and tangent buttons all have yellow labels above them denoting their inverse function. But the labels are A sine, A cosine, and A tan. The A is short for arc. They mean arc sine, arc cosine, and arc tangent. Excel uses this abbreviation too, as we'll see momentarily. Anyway, to find the angle whose tangent is 2, shift, tangent, 2, execute. 1.107 radians. Switch to degree mode, home, scroll to settings, OK, OK, degree, OK, home. Scroll back to calculations, OK, shift, sign, 0.777, execute, and there's our 51 degree angle again. Excel has inverse trig functions named a sine, a cos, and a tan, which will all return angles in radians. So the angle whose tangent is 2 is a tan of 2. The angle whose sine is 0.77 is found using the Excel function a sine of 0.777. Well, that's not the 51 degrees the calculators gave us. But Excel deals with radians by default. To convert to degrees, Excel provides a function named degrees, which will take a radian measure as its argument. So if we wrap the arc sine expression in the degrees function, we'll get the 51 degree angle we expect. The calculator built into Windows is pretty straightforward. We just need to remember to enter the argument first and then the function. Make sure you're using the scientific version of the calculator. Set radian mode with this button. To find arc tan of 2, enter the argument 2 first and then the trig drop down. Click the second button. This will turn all the trig functions into inverse trig functions. So click inverse tangent and we get 1.107 radians again. Switch to degree mode to find the angle in degrees whose sine is 0.777. 0 
0.777, trig, second, inverse sine, 51 degrees. In the next video, TR-26 will start solving triangles.